Welcome to Down the Road a Piece with Count Two Up. This is show 28, and we're going to start off today with Jimmy Coe and the Gay Cats of Rhythm, Organ Grinder. It's a state's unreleased master from 1953. <laughs> Swingin' Instrumental by Jimmy Coe and the Gay Cats of Rhythm. Organ Grinder, a state's unreleased master, 1953. His real name was James R. Coe. He was born in Tompkinsville, Kentucky, March 1921, and he played in the J. McShann Band. I would like to welcome you to Down the Road a Piece with Count Two Up. Together we shall explore and enjoy mostly music that is from 1945 through 1965, mainly doo-wop, group harmony sounds, with a touch of blues, jazz, pop, gospel, and novelty added to the mix. My name is Jerry Zwecker, also known as Count Doo-Wop, on the internet. Enjoy this show as a two-way conversation in our make-believe living room among friends. The way you can contact me is by email. Count dash do up at juno dot com. C O U N T dash D O O W O P at J U N O dot com. Today we're going to start off in New York with Lenny Coco and the Chimes, a do up group from Brooklyn. It consisted of Lenny Coco the lead, Pat DePisco, Richard Mercado, Joseph Croce, and Pat McGuire the bass. The selection I've picked out for you today is Lenny Coco and the Chimes, Only Forever on VJ from 1964. It was a 1940 song written for the film Rhythm of the River, nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Song. Do I want to be with you As the years come and go
living in Lenny Coco and the Chimes, Only Forever, on the VJ label from 1964. We are going to stay in New York for a while with the Valentines and then the Channels. Now, the Valentines were formed in 1952 in the Sugar Hill District of Harlem, New York. They were harmonizing on the corner of 151st Street and Amsterdam Avenue. Now, the group consisted of uh, Richard Barrett, the lead, and uh, he did a lot of work with the Chantels also. Raymond Papa Briggs, Carl Hogan, Mickey Francis, and Ronnie Bright, the bass, who later did uh, Mr. Bassman with Johnny Cymbal. Well, the usual lead of the Valentines was Richard Barrett, but today's selection is going to be Carl Hogan and the Valentines. Don't say goodnight on the Rama label from 1957. Don't say good night. Please don't close the door. Just hold my hand for a minute. Oh.
Carl Hogan and the Valentines. Don't say goodnight from the Rama label of 1957. Now I have for you Earl Lewis and the Channels. His real name is Earl Michael Lewis, a New York two-op group from 115th Street. The group consisted of Earl Lewis, of course, Larry Hamden, Billy Morris, Edward Dolphin, and Clifton Wright. At a United in Group Harmony meeting in New Jersey, I yelled out, Altar of Love! And this is what he sang. Earl Lewis and the Channels, Altar of Love, on the Gone Label from 1957. Someone new. The Channels, Altar of Love on the Gone Label, 1957. Let's make a stop in Philadelphia with the Orlans, originally an all-girls quintet called Audrey and the Teenettes from Philadelphia. The members originally were Rosetta Hightower, Shirley Brickley, Marlena Davis, and Stephen Caldwell, also a drummer. What I have for you today is Rosetta Hightower and the Orlans. Don't hang up. Cameo Parkway, 1962. One of their big hits.
Rosetta Hightower and the Orlons don't hang up on the Cameo Parkway label from 1962. Now the music is going to take us to Texas with Charles Brown. He was born in Texas City, Texas, 1922. He replaced Nat King Cole in Johnny Moore's Three Blazers. Now with gentle piano and soft vocals on the Los Angeles nightclub scene. Now you can relax with Charles Brown, tomorrow, on the exclusive label from 1948. Tomorrow Yeah, tomorrow Will all my dreams Charles Brown, Tomorrow, on the exclusive label from 1948. Well, let's stay in that time period with the Rhythm Kings. Slightly poppy sound, but really nice. It consisted of Leonard Thomas, the lead, Cecil Murray, Howard Scott, and James Riley. And uh, what we're going to hear today is Leonard Thomas and the Rhythm Kings, I shouldn't have passed your house on the Ivory label from August 1949. In the second half of the show, we have a three record spotlight on Philadelphia groups. a thousand memories of you I shouldn't have rung your bell but the yearning for you made it something I had to do Courage to face you 
I stayed out of sight. Do I, do I? I shouldn't have passed your house. Then I wouldn't be here, feeling so blue tonight. I had you out of my heart. Gone was that terrible ache. We were drifting farther apart. And then I made a mistake. Thomas and the Rhythm Kings, I Shouldn't Have Passed Your House, on the Ivory label from August 1949, and that fine piano player was Isaac Ike Royal at the piano. Well, it's time to get a little jazzy with Willie Maybone. He was raised in Memphis, Tennessee, and he moved to Chicago in 1942. He was no, best known as a singer and a pianist, and what I have for you now is Willie Maybone, Lucinda, on the chess label from 1955. Hey, Lucinda, I know you've been messing around. Hey, Lucinda, I know you've been messing around. Everybody can't be lying They's talking about you all over town Hey, Lucinda Where did you stay last night? Hey, Lucinda Where did you stay last night? Your head ain't been combed your shoes ain't been tied and your clothes ain't treating you right. Hey, loose in the shed, your big mouth and don't say a word. We gonna fight this morning about some mess I heard. Get over in that corner, pull off that coat. Because you won't get away this time like you did before. Hey, loose in the I know you've been messing around Everybody can't be lying They're talking about you all over town Got eyes like a tadpole, shaped like a bear. A mouth full of skeeting dairy, skeeting it everywhere. But she's my baby, and I love her just the same. Crazy about that woman.
Willie Maybone, Lucinda on the chess label from 1955. Now the music is going to take us to Baltimore with the Cardinals. Now, Ernie Lee Warren was the lead, Leon Hardy, Meredith Brothers, and Donald Johnson. They were discovered by Herb Abramson when he went on a trip to Baltimore and he brought them to Atlantic Records. And what I got for you today is the Cardinals. One Love on the Atlantic from 1957. And the last time I saw Ernie was due up in D.C. in 2005. This is my first love I never knew Someone like you Would care for me The Cardinals, One Love on Atlantic Records from 1957. Now I would like to play for you Billy Eckstein. He was born July 1914 in Pittsburgh. A jazz and pop singer is best known for his operatic bass baritone and rich resonance. He helped shape the future of jazz. Today I picked out a real nice one for you. Billy Eckstein and the Quartones, Bewildered. On MGM from 1949, accompanied by the Hugo Winterhalter Orchestra. I'm in the 
dark bewildered I need your guiding hand I'll never understand Billy Eckstein and the Quartones, bewildered on MGM from 1949 with the Hugo Winterhalter Orchestra. Now we're going to Connecticut to rock and roll a little bit with the academics from New Haven, Connecticut. They all went to the Hill House High School. The group consisted of Lee J. Fisher, Billy Greenberg, Richie Greenberg, and Marty Ganter and Ronnie Marone. What I picked out for you today is Dave Fisher and the academics. Darla, my darling, on the ankle label from 1956. I have a little story for that record. When I was 1963, I was working in Wall Street as a messenger, and I snuck away and got on the train and went to Brooklyn to Rendezvous Records to buy a copy, and I quickly got back on the train and went back to work. Dave Fisher and the Academics, Darla My Darling, on the Anko label from 1956. What do you say we go to Philadelphia and rock and roll with Yvonne Mills and the Sensations? 
They were from Philadelphia, originally the Cavaliers in 1954, and then changed their name later. So uh, Yvonne Mills was the lead, Tommy Wicks, Alfonso Howell, and Hosea Harrelson. What I want to play for you today is Yvonne Baker, a married name, and the sensations. You made a fool of me on Junior from 1963. The first in our Philadelphia set. <laughs> Yvonne Baker and the Sensations. You made a fool of me on Junior from 1963. And a few days ago, I mailed her some CDs of my shows. Now, the second record in our Philadelphia set is Lee Andrew and the Hearts, real name Arthur Lee Andrew, who was born 1936 in Goldsboro, North Carolina. And the group consisted of Lee Andrews, the lead, Roy Calhoun, Thomas Butch Curry, Ted Weems, and Wenzel Calhoun. And what I picked out for today is Lee Andrew and the Hearts, Baby Come Back on Rainbow Records from 1954. Did you? 
my old favorites, Lee Andrews and the Hearts, Baby Come Back on Rainbow Records from 1954. Now the third record in our Philadelphia set are the Capris. They started as the Uniques in Philadelphia, and the group consisted of Renee Hinton, she originally sang with the Levettes, Reuben Wright, he was also the piano player, Eddie Warner, Harrison Scott, later replaced by Fred Hale, and Bobby Smart. They rehearsed at Renee Hinton's house because there was a piano there. So uh, what we're going to hear today is Renee Hinton and the Capris, My Weakness on the 20th Century Label from 1958. And I saw her at United Group Harmony Association in New Jersey in the 90s, and she sounded just like the records. Hinton and the Capris from Philadelphia, My Weakness, on the 20th Century Label, 1958. Our next musical stop is in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we're going to hear the counts. Well, I learned something from uh, Marv Goldberg, Mitch Rizowski, and Galen Gart, that uh, there's another counts group in uh, Indianapolis. I thought there was only one. Anyway, uh, that's Marv Goldberg at UncleMarvy.com, U-N-C-A-M-A-R-V-Y dot C-O-M. And the group consists of Harry Blackwell, Bernard Harris, Dwayne Harris, Jimmy Pearson, and Jimmy Scruggs. What we're going to hear today is the Count's Sweet Names on the note label from November 1956. Honest. Yeah. 
was the second group of counts from Indianapolis, Sweet Names, on the note label from November 1956. Are you in the mood for a little jazz? Well, I have the Kirby Stone Four. Their music was a combination of swing jazz, vocalese, and early rock and roll. They called it the Go Sound. And what I have picked out for you today is the Kirby Stone Four, by the light of the silvery moon on Warner Brothers, a 1963 album with the Dick Hyman Orchestra. <laughs> Shining in tune Your silvery beams Will bring love's dreams We'll be cuddling soon By the silvery moon Kirby Stone 4, By the Light of the Silvery Moon, on the Warner Brothers label, a 1963 album with the Dick Hyman Orchestra. Well, coming back to New York City, we have the Chantels, the second African-American girls group. The first was the Barbettes. The group started in the early 1950s 
by the students attending St. Anthony of Padua School. The original members are Arlene Smith, Sonia Goring Wilson, real name Millicent Goring, Renee Minus White, and Jackie Landry. And what I wanted you to hear today is Arlene Smith and the Chantels, the alternate version of Every Night I Pray on the end label, 1958. Smith and the Chantels on the alternate take of Every Night I Pray on the end label, 1958. Musically staying in New York, we have Linda Scott. She was born June 1945 in Queens, New York. Real name is Linda Joy Sampson. And what I hope you'll enjoy is Linda Scott, Count Every Star, a 1950 song on the Congress label, 1962, with the Hutch Davy Orchestra. And I saw her 1961 at the Murray the K Show in Brooklyn.
Linda Scott Count Every Star on the Congress label from 1962 with the Hutch Davy Orchestra. I hope you enjoyed this show, show number 28, and we can do this again real soon. You can contact me at count-do-up at juno.com. And this is Jerry Zwecker. Until next time.